Land Rover is a strange company. Loved by hunters, shooters and fishers, the Land Rover brand markets itself to anti-hunters, anti-shooters, and painstakingly avoids mentioning its core market in its advertising. Well, it's brought out a new, longer Defender. Here's what a proper shooter, gun dog breeder and trainer Dave Templer, thinks of it. That's an expensive sound. <laughs> well, it used to be soft clothes, but they've taken the soft clothes off them. Now you can't get the, you can't get the electronics of the soft clothes. What, what is this vehicle? This is the new Land Rover Defender 130, which, as you can see, is bigger. <laughs> so we used to have the 110. We had a 110 for for uh, a 12 month. Obviously, at the moment you can't get one, which is the biggest problem. There's an 18 month lead time on them. Some unknown reason I was fortunate to get this one. We've only had it two weeks. Um, they said I might look after it, but as you can see, uh, probably haven't actually. It's, it's done. Best, Dave. It's done a thousand miles. It's going to get validated in a minute. It's a superb machine. Better for us actually now. We can get more dogs in the back. Um, it is an eight-seater. It's got eight heated seats. It's got aircon all round and everything. But they are fantastic off-road. I know. The, the Land Rover fraternity has a tendency to say it's not a, it's not a Defender, it's not a Land Rover or whatever it is, but the off-road capacity and the way it goes is brilliant. We've driven the other one quite hard. You know, it's not a Chelsea tractor. We've driven it quite hard and it's it's gone everywhere we wanted it to go. We've been up mountains with it, with a trailer on the back, with the other one, the 110 we had. And this one will do everything. I mean, they are they are brilliant. If we live 12 miles away from the chute, you, you just drive an old Land Rover or an old Defender or whatever because that's what it's going to do. Or get yourself a Suzuki Jeep. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. When you're driving to Scotland, you want to get out and go, I've had a nice drive. Not, I'm dying. If somebody drives to Scotland an old Defender, you just laugh at them when they get there because they're never going to do it ever again. Whereas with this, you can do it in luxury. You can... You can drive there and you can still go off road with it, so they are superb. I mean, it looks a bit more like a Mitsubishi or a you know, Toyota than a Land Rover, really. Yeah, well, it's a mixture, isn't it? I mean, the back door is like the size of a Suzuki door, that's the worst bit because you, it's very difficult. And the 110 used to narrow off, so it was quite narrow, whereas this is actually a little bit wider. It's a 110, but it's longer. If you have ever looked at your 110 and thought, I need more boot room, or maybe even the more seditious, I need a Toyota. This could be the Land Rover for you.